Good morning, my name is Bob Dempster. I'm the Executive Director of the Saddle Globe Cruiser Association. Our project is to build a reproduction of the Douglas World Cruiser, which was the first airplane to fly around the world in 1924 from Seattle. Now this event has been, well, the second aviation milestone after the Wright Brothers. So lots of sensational things have happened in aviation. In this project, we're going to build this airplane, fly it around the world, and donate it to the Museum of Flight here in Seattle. Well, here we are at the uh, hangar uh, with the Liberty engine that we'll be using in the airplane. And of course, what goes on the front of a, a, an engine is the propeller. We've scanned the original propeller at the Museum of Flight. Uh, Mr. Steve Kidd from SimTech, who is a reseller of Mastercam, and that was the program that was used for the, the actual milling of the propeller. The important part of this was that not only did we have to replicate it, but we had to replicate it exactly, which is, of course, the feature of digital scanning and, and reproducing with CNC machines today. The exactness of the propeller is important because it was designed for this specific engine. And without that mating, we wouldn't get the performance on the airplane. We have the original performance figures, and our flight test program will show us how close we get to those figures. But the propeller is integral. And performance, of course, is, is, is number one. So Steve down at Mastercam and his uh, great team have helped us produce this propeller. Uh, and this is a cut down version. This is the test club that will be used and then uh, the next one will be for flight. 